Hello everybody, this is Alan from the Xenus Expeditionary Force. Um, I am the ZEF film guy. Uh, and uh, today I just wanted to uh, do a little, um, I guess, well, not really live, but a video with commentary. Um, and I think the thing uh, I'm going to be looking at here is um, uh, the disco balls that have seemed seemingly uh, invaded Drazona. So uh, I saw this first message this morning. Thanks, Bort. I really wanted to have an epilepsy attack. Um, so I was, I was a little bit curious, and then I found this next one here. Um, Drizona Discoplosion. And uh, reading through the comments, there's currently a glitch where if you die while your party amp is active, it becomes an eternal party amp. Naturally, the Desians of Drizona took slight advantage of this. So, I don't know how exactly this got in there. Um, I couldn't really find an explanation. Uh, I'm not exactly sure why Bort is being called out for it. Um, if anybody knows, please let me know um, why people are pointing the finger at Borticus if this is something that he purposely did. But I don't know why somebody would purposely go and drop like three or four um, disco balls that would purposely drop people's frame rate. Uh, that seems a little malicious to me. But maybe it's just a bug from coding uh, from stuff that they were trying to do. I don't know. I'm not going to blame. But let's check this out. Uh, first thing though. First thing is, I'm going to change my resolution here. There we go. So note to self, don't change resolution while using fraps. Your monitor won't like it. So alright, so right now I'm out in space. I'm, according to fraps, I'm at 60 frames per second. So let's go see how crazy this is. Uh, dock at Trizona, dock at station. Because uh, it's one thing to see the pictures, it's another to... Oh. Oh. Okay. Oh, so, I don't remember disco balls being this big. <laughs> yeah, balls being big. Yeah, I don't remember the balls being this big. Um, I, yeah, that's really crazy, really bright. Uh, so right now I'm sitting at about... I'm going between 35 and 40 frames per second, so... That's not bad. Um, I got a AMD 8-core processor with 16 gigs of RAM and a NVIDIA GTX 970. Um, so I imagine somebody who has a, um, a Core 2 Duo uh, desktop or laptop with 4 gigs of RAM, like I do, to use on like spare time when I have some downtime at work and I want to learn After Effects or more things in Sony Vegas Pro. Um, this might be a little bit of a pain in the butt, but uh, so apparently there's more over here. Let's go to the main lobby area. And here we are. Disco ball there, disco ball there, and there. I'm counting four, five, and my... My frame rate, according to Fraps right now, is dropping down to about 25. Uh, averaging about 30, though, so not too bad for my system, but... Um, yeah, I don't know why this is here. If anybody knows, um, <laughs> please feel free to comment. Um, again, I don't know why Bordicus is having the finger pointed at him on this one, uh, unless he put this in for the LOLs, or if... Uh, yeah, I... I if this is a coding thing or what happened. Um, but yeah, if we can get an answer on this, that would be cool. And maybe this is uh, something that will be talked about during the week, possibly on the show on uh, Wednesday, 10 p.m. Eastern. But uh, yeah, this is, um, I could see, yeah, this, uh, this is really distracting. Luckily, it's on Drizona. The only time people really come to Drizona is Oh, yay. Oh, now there goes my frame rate. I'm sitting at about 20 frames per second now. Wow. 
Um, yeah, the only reason people, I think, really go to Drizona is when they're playing through the missions. Uh, I know that there is some RP that happens here. Um, but other than that, luckily it's not too much of a major hub like uh, ESD is. So uh, at least it's contained to here. But uh, yeah, no, it'd be nice to hear about what happened here because apparently some people are actually upset about it. So if anybody has answers, feel free to leave a comment at the bottom. Other than that, you guys have fun with uh, Crystal Line Entity. I hope that's going good for everyone. I've personally been kind of slack in the past few days. Work's been busy. I had a trailer, or not trailer, video to do to celebrate our fleet reaching Tier 5 Starbase, which I actually just released last night or early, early this morning. I have a another video to do for the Foundry Project, or Project, uh, Foundry Contest that I did with Timberwolf there last week. Um, so I got that video to do, and I might be doing a little special video, um, last week I hit 100 subscribers, I think I'm hitting at about 116 now, so if anybody who's subscribed and is watching this right now, I want to thank you very much for subscribing and, uh, following along with the videos that we put out, uh, I'm gonna try branching off from, like, I'm gonna continue doing the, uh, trailer cinematic type videos, but, uh, I, I want to try and do more. Uh, I'm thinking about doing like a little foundry review uh, video, um, looking at episodes that are out there and also looking at RP friendly maps that folks can use. I know there is a, uh, there's one of a brig that one of the people from my fleet had created that's actually really good. Um, there's uh, another guy in my fleet, Gould, who has. Uh, a lot of um, like he's he made a beach house he's made a cabin in the woods um, so I'm gonna be doing videos on that uh, showing them off so if you guys have a RP centric type map that doesn't really have a storyline but you think it would be suitable for people to use to help tell their RP stories uh, please let me know uh, you can leave a comment down below and uh, but yeah that's it for me uh, everybody have fun, and I'll uh, see you next time. Cheers.